Welcome back to Foam University. Today we're going to talk about how you can insulate a van. Now you might be asking, why do you want to insulate a van? Well, if you're not in the know, a few main reasons are one, a lot of people like to buy cargo vans and turn them into a camper. It's a very economical way to do it. Uh, some other people like to insulate them for sound mainly. If you use the van for work and you have shelves and tools rattling around, those uh, the foam can really cut down on that noise. Now, if you're going to insulate a van, there's a few key things to keep in mind. First, space. Obviously, you're working in a tiny area, so space is going to be a main concern. The other thing is material. What are you going to use? Well, there are several things you can use, such as foam board or other types of rolled, uh, rolled or bat material. The problem with those is time. Okay, how long it's going to take for you to actually install that. The other thing is durability. A lot of times the insulation that you might put in a cargo van is going to be left exposed. So you need to be durable, especially if you're going to be hanging shelves or putting tools up next to the wall of the van. So where we fall on is closed cell spray foam. By far is the best option for this. Several reasons. One, space. Like we talked about, space is a big thing for these projects because you don't want to take up a lot of that interior room. Two inches of closed cell foam is more than adequate. Even if you want to do the top, the bottom, the sides, back doors, two inches of closed cell spray foam will give you a good barrier and it doesn't take up a ton of space. Another thing is durability. Like we talked about, a lot of times it's going to be left exposed. Closed cell spray foam is very durable and rigid. It's used on pole barns and left exposed often because if it gets bumped into or if uh, tools get laid against it or even drilled into, it's going to hold up fine most of the time. So again, that durability is key for there. And time. Closed cell spray foam can be applied to a van usually in two to four hours. There's some prep work involved, but like I said, two to four hours it can be done. If you use one of the other methods with like a foam board material, for example, you're probably going to be there all day, possibly two days, cutting, shaping, adhering, sealing, several steps involved in that. It's going to take a lot of time. Now, cost. Closed cell spray foam will generally be the most expensive way to go. Hope you found this information helpful. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, do those things anyways. Uh, if you have, if you can, leave us a comment how you insulated your van. Let us know if you use spray foam or if you use something different. And don't forget, hit that bell button so that you get all of our notifications on our upcoming videos. What are you doing? Did you hit the like button? Just subscribe. You better hit that like button right now, brother. Get it. Like, if we did put that at the end of that video, that'd be pretty cool.